Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a logo that I did not want to put on my video because uh, I don't want to get in trouble with it. So I reproduced Epilogue's name and it had, it had an arch and it had these colors and blues and reds and white burst, I'm going to call. So all I did was take their text. I'm going to left click, right click to get an outline. There are several ways you could get this arch. Probably the easiest one for most of it is the three-point curve line. Just going to go to the middle and then arch it up. And you can always play with that other later. You know, I'm a little bit high. You can actually take your shape tool now and lower these. You want to kind of go through the middle of the letter, but we'll call that good enough for the video. And then just take your smart fill tool. And instead on dark, the dark blue, we're just going to go through here and do that. Go up here and get our lighter blue that I actually just kind of put in there. I got a little leak on that one, and I do not know why. Let's, uh, it shouldn't leak. There's a line all the way through it. Let's, uh, let's try putting a dark blue at the bottom now. There we go. Then go back to the light blue. Shouldn't really mess us up. Except for it did it again. There. So let's go back to the dark blue. We'll do the same thing. I don't know why it would leak. But now it's not leaking, so it's okay. Now take away your arch. I'm going to, and I missed a little piece right there. Let's go back just to make it perfect. Um, go back to the Smart Fill tool and fill in that little bitty piece. Now take your arch away. Go and right click no outline whatsoever. And I'd go ahead and group it together. Then... Get your interactive fill tool and select fountain fill and select elliptical. And if you look at this, watch what happens when I check it. Every part has its own elliptical. So let's go back to it and let's take a red and put it in the center of our elliptical. See what it's doing? It's giving us a little... We don't really have to do anything to the center or to the top letters because they've got that white because the uh, interactive fill tool already started out with white. I think you pretty much have to drag it every time or it won't work. So fill in the square. You know, with this other one, you could probably change it, but it looks good enough for me. Then get off of it and there's that Kind of that exact logo is a little bit different because I did my arch different. Now, one thing you can always do, just I'll add this, instead of a drawing a three-point line, in case in earlier versions they don't have the three-point line, just don't hold down the control button and you you know use an elliptical and you can reproduce that same arch. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.